Hello everybody, I'm Holly. I'm the mum from Kids Afloat and Wooden Boats um, and I am the person who I suppose puts my children in front of lots of different boating adventures. Uh, but I wanted to hop in front of the camera today and say hello to you all and introduce you to our latest and greatest project. Um, this one's really special. We're calling her at the moment, while we're still deciding on a name, the Heron of Unlimited and Extraordinary Potential. So for those of you who don't know what a Heron is, it's a little dinghy that was designed by the amazing dinghy designer, Jack Holt, um, a long time ago. And it is a very popular class in Australia, but has actually been a little bit less um, populous through Tassie. Oh, and here's the ship's dog. Um, the scurvy dog <laughs> has been declining in its popularity down here in Tasmania. So there was this lovely man called Anthony Morgan who used to build award-winning herons that used to take out all sorts of titles and be very competitive at the nationals here in Australia. And after a long line of champions, he tweaked his design and his, his whole shape just enough to build what he thought would be a heron that could take on the new Plastic Fantastics. And unfortunately, it was lost to time a little bit. So in 2000, um, it was sold to a lovely gentleman who unfortunately never got around to finishing her. And when he passed away, I managed to find it um, in a shipping container on his um, estate. And so, I managed to have this little boat follow me home, which was amazing, um, with the wishes of the family of the late David to restore it, um, or rather finish it, for the kiddos to sail and to try and revive the heron class down here in Tassie. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that, but I'm going to give it a good crack. And I wanted to introduce you to the heron of unlimited and extraordinary potential today. Um, there will be a lot of videos of her restoration coming up, but for now, I thought we'd just get to know her. So I'll let you watch and see what you think. We joined Anthony at the Lindisfarne Sailing Club to meet some of the ships that he's built as sister ships, as well as national champion Wirrawee, who was the inspiration for our lovely little boat. Family Ties is also another of Anthony's creations and has won so many races and has a little bit of a following as we found out from the crowd that gathered in the shed. champion and she was so strong in the upper body you know she could literally just sit out here all day you know oh, literally, literally. Yeah. yeah so you know that's unusual for 
uh, you know, so she was light and incredibly strong, you yeah. know, so that, that, a lot of them have them a lot lower, you know. So, how deep are heron, sorry, herons, yeah. um, centerboards? Oh, sorry. Like, how deep do they go? Well, there are rules. But basically, you want it as deep as you can. So I've taken the chainsaw to the bottom.